Studios. My name is Linda Arnold and I am a mostly self-taught potter who happens to have a mild hot tea obsession. All right, well it's not mild, it's a big hot tea obsession. In this series, we are going to talk about tea, different types of tea, ceramics, and my quest for the perfect teapot. Oh, I am on a quest, that is for sure. Thanks for coming along with me. I hope you have a good time, and let's have a cup of together. Good evening, and welcome to Tea with Linda. I hope you've had a great day. It's kind of late at night. It's after 7.30. It's time to be winding down. I should not be in the studio this late. But I wanted to um, talk to you about a different type of tea. I wanted to talk to you about red teas. Um, one of my most favorite red teas that I've ever had, and I'm not big into flavored teas, but this one is from the Republic of Tea and it's called Good Hope Vanilla. And every time that I can get my hands on a can of this, I get two or three because I never know when I'm gonna find it again. It is, an amazing naturally caffeine free tea. It's a red tea, so the color is obviously red. But this one has a little bit of an, a, a little bit of a vanilla flavor to it. So it doesn't need to have any honey or any sugar or I don't even have cream out on the table. This is an amazing tea to drink just absolutely by itself. What I've also noticed with it is that if you float your bag too long, you can't really oversteep it. It has a really great flavor um, that does not get incredibly bitter the longer you leave it. I have inadvertently left my bags in my teapot for, gosh, I think it was an hour at one point, and it was still just as drinkable as it was, you know, steeping it a regular amount of time, which was quite amazing for me. So I'm going to pop off the lid. This is a new, a new can. And I already have hot water, 190 degrees in my teapot. And if you'll notice that these are an unbleached tea bag, um, Oh my God, and the smell. The smell is amazing. It smells like tea, but it smells kind of like vanilla. A little bit of an ice cream smell to it. It's, oh my gosh, it's just amazing. And so I'm going to put three of the tea bags into the, and I should have put the tea bags in first, uh, into the pot and close up my canister. It seals up, it's airtight after this, so it keeps well without going stale or spoily. And now we're just gonna wait for three minutes for it to steep. Um, okay, so here we go. See how red it looks? It's, it's brown but it's red and see I'm sloppy still. Um, you probably cannot see inside of the cup well, but this is a very red bodied tea. Um, you know, it's it's got some brown notes to it, but it, it truly is a red tea and you can tell that it's a red tea. And the smell of it brewed smells exactly like the bags do, you know, it's. It's the tea smell with uh, the vanilla um, and kind of a, an ice cream type smell to it. It's, it's just, it's very lovely. It is a very lovely smell. I mean, if you like vanilla, you'll love this. Uh, if you're not a big vanilla fan, then... It is... I, it's so very hard to describe this because it's it's such a, a creamy feeling or a creamy taste to it even though there's not any cream in it um, but it's it's smooth and it's delicate and it's um, it's 
flowery, vanilla flowery, without being overwhelming. Um, it's it's just quite lovely. Alexa, turn on the light. See, that's when it's really time, you know it's time to get out of the studio when the lights turn off automatically on you. Oh, that is lovely. And this tea I have found is amazing hot. It's yummy iced. Um, I have not ever done a like a, a chai latte with it. Um, I don't know how it would work with that, um, but it is, it is phenomenal. Mm. But that is, that is good. And if you don't want to, since it's a red, you don't have to brew it at the 212. Um, my hot water tap comes out at 190, uh, and that is just a perfect temperature for it. I'm not going to force you to watch me drink the whole entire cup because that would be kind of weird. So I'm going to end it here and just say that if you're looking for a good red tea to start with, if you're not real sure about red teas and you like vanilla, um, you know, this is the Good Hope Vanilla from Republic of Teas is a good place to start uh, as far as the red goes. Um, thank you very much. I hope you have an incredible rest of your evening or your day if you're watching this in the morning. And I'm so glad you stopped by to have a couple with me. Um, looking forward to seeing you the next time. Thanks.